Hi everyone and welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we're doing a DIY project. We're going to be making cracked marble gems featuring the symbols from Miraculous Ladybug. Here are all the supplies that you're going to need. We have a bunch of nail polish and also some acrylic paint. We have a tray that we can use for baking, a bowl for ice water, and of course we have our glass marbles. I'm going to be using this type of glass marbles. So it is domed on top and flat on the bottom. So what we wanted to do is crack the bottom and then paint it with the symbols underneath. And I think once we're done, it'll look really cool from the top. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is crack the marble. So I'm gonna be placing all of my marbles on this cookie sheet here. Here I have 10 marbles. I'm making a few extra in case some of them crack all the way through. I'm gonna put this at 425 degrees for about 20 minutes in the oven. While the marbles were baking, I prepared a bowl of ice water. Alright, we're done baking these beads. Now remember, they're very very hot, so make sure to not touch them. And get adults to help you. Now I'm going to dump them immediately into this ice bath. Oh wow, that's so cool! Do you hear them cracking? Okay, they should be cooled down. Let's take them out and take a look. You can see from the side here, they're cracked from the bottom. Look at that. Super cool. Oh, this one's really nice. Look at that. You can see the cracks all along the bottom. Out of the 10 gems that I baked, about 7 of them came out really nice. So we got this really nice crackle all the way around. But we got 3 that almost cracked all the way through. So I don't like these as much. So I probably won't be using them. You can see these really deep cracks on these three here. And the other ones are a little bit more subtle, but the cracks are smaller too. So I like these a lot better. So let's stick with these and we can start painting them. All right, let's start with Ladybug. We're going to add five black dots and then draw a line down the middle. Then we're going to layer red over it. For Cat Noir, we're painting a neon green paw. Then layer black over it. Now for Rina Rouge, we're going to paint the necklace with white and light orange. And then add dark orange on top. Next, for Queen Bee, we're going to paint a black bee. and paint yellow over it. For carapace or shell shock, we're going to start with dark green lines. And then paint the inside light green. And layer dark green over it again. Next, let's do the villains. Hawk moth with white will draw in the moth. And then paint over it with purple. And finally, the peacock miraculous. We're going to use black and a shimmery purple.
and layer over it with the light purple. All right, everyone, so we are done. Let's take a look at the results. First one here is for Ladybug. I think it turned out really, really cool. Here is Cat Noirs. Next, we have Queen Bees. This one is for Rena Rouge. This one is for Carapace or Shell Shock, but as you can see, it didn't turn out that great because the light green is completely covered up. This one is Hawk Moth. This one is my favorite. I just love the white against the purple. And this one is the Peacock Miraculous. This one turned out pretty good too. Alright everyone, so I thought that was a really fun project. Let me know down below in the comment section what you think of these colored gems. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!